Hi everybody, today we're going to look at Fortinet's new overlay as a service and demonstrate how easy it is to connect multiple remote locations together with it. Fortinet overlay as a service is a SaaS offering that delivers point and click setup and monitoring of new SD-WAN overlay networks. This service is purpose built for organizations who want to easily connect all their sites but may have limited technical expertise or constrained budgets. Included with the service are two geo-redundant Fortinet managed hubs, thus eliminating the need to manage and host a dedicated hub and allowing you to seamlessly connect your locations in minutes. We are now logged into FortiCloud, which is the launching pad for Fortinet Cloud Services. From here, I can log into the Overlay as a Service portal. As a prerequisite, we will need to have our FortiGates connected to the internet and registered with our FortiCloud account for them to be a part of our inventory. You can see here that we have four FortiGates in our account. Next, we will launch the Overlay as a Service UI. Overlay as a Service only needs three things to define a site. They are FortiGates, ISPs, and subnets. Once you have defined multiple sites, Overlay as a Service will do the rest and create a secure connection between them via a VPN overlay. In our demo today, we will go through the steps to deploy an overlay from scratch. To do this, click on the Topology menu option. The first step is to select the location of our Fortinet hosted hubs. These hubs will be used to facilitate the secure branch-to-branch -branch connectivity between our sites. You will need to select two hub locations one of which will be for redundancy purposes. We will go ahead and select San Jose as our primary location and Ashburn as our secondary location. Now that the hubs have been added, we will next add a site. Let's give our site a name and select the type of site it is. I want to point out here that both branch and data center site types behave the same. The site type is more for our own informational purposes. We will name our site Sunnyvale and also give it a quick description. Once that's done, click on the device dropdown and select our HQ FortiGate from the device inventory. Next, click Add and then Done. You can see that the Sunnyvale site has now been added to our overlay topology map. We will now repeat these simple steps for our other three branch sites. We will fast forward this process for the sake of time. You can see that we have now defined our four sites within our topology. What we'll need to do next is add our ISP and subnets to our sites. Like the previous step, we will do this for our Sunnyvale site and repeat the process for the others. With that said, let's go to our Sunnyvale site and click Add ISP. Adding an ISP is very straightforward. Give it a name, which can be the name of your internet service provider. Optionally, enter in the cost and select the WAN interface for that site. In our example, the WAN ports are all connected to port 1. Click Done, and you can see that ISP1 now shows up on the map. Next, we'll add a subnet. Much like adding an ISP, the process of adding a subnet to our Sunnyvale site is also very simple. Let's name our subnet LAN. Choose Direct, and select the interface with the subnet we want from the list. In our demo environment, the subnet is directly connected to the site FortiGate, so we will choose direct. For instances where we require a static route to reach our chosen subnet, use the indirect option. Now click Done. Our Sunnyvale subnet now also shows up on the topology map. We will now repeat this process for our other three branch sites. Now that we fully define the ISP and subnet for all of our sites, it's time to deploy these changes and have Overlay as a Service create our VPN overlay according to these definitions. Click the Apply button located at the bottom right corner. The process of building out the VPN overlay will take a couple of minutes. During this process, the VPN configuration and routes will be automatically installed onto the FortiGates. If you wish to view the progress, click on the progress button at the top.
Once we see the process show is complete, click on the Home Menu option. Here, you will see the actual topology and status of our VPN overlay. Initially, you will see red around some or all of our sites. This means that the VPN tunnel for a given site is not up yet. Simply wait a few moments for all of the sites to show up as green. And just like that, our VPN overlay has been created and the sites can now securely and privately communicate with each other. To monitor the status of our overlays, all you have to do is click on the site you wish to look at. Here, you'll see the status of active shortcut tunnels, overlay and performance, as well as some site details. You might have noticed that there are no active shortcut tunnels for the Austin site. I want to take a moment to point out that the overlays created by the service use Fortinet proprietary ADVPN technology. ADVPN creates dynamic VPN tunnels between sites on demand. This gives all the benefits of full mesh with the scalability of hub and spoke. All we need to do to create an ADVPN tunnel between our Austin and New York branches is to generate traffic between hosts residing in either branch's subnet. Let's go to a machine located on Austin's LAN side. We will now run a ping to a machine on the New York LAN subnet. We can see that the ping is successful. Now let's go back to the overlay as a service portal and see what's changed. Once we click on Austin, we can see that there is now an active shortcut tunnel to the New York branch. In just a few short minutes, using overlay as a service, we have successfully created a VPN overlay, which allows secure and private communications between all of our branches and data center. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.